We truly live on a dynamic planet, and natural disasters can strike when you least expect them. For all of the beauty in this world, there is the capacity for great destruction. But in that destruction, sometimes new and exciting gemstones can form. So today I'm going to give you three gems that can form from natural disasters. Stay tuned. First of all, gemstone and mineral are not synonymous terms. And if you want more info on that, then check the video in the pinned comment. Two of the three items on this list are mineraloids, or almost minerals. And our first one, brescias, are masses of minerals. A breccia, B-R-E-C-C-I-A, is a geological term for rock formations that broke apart and cemented back together. And they are delineated from a conglomerate by their angular pieces. The pieces and conglomerates are smooth, if you've never seen one before. The most common type that you'll see on the market today is the red brecciated jasper. But another popular breccia that is my personal favorite is ibis jasper. While breccias can form from simple weathering processes, they are often associated with earthquakes, tectonic activity, and meteor strikes. However it happened, rocks broke apart and either sediment or minerals like quartz filled in the gaps and created a new, beautiful gemstone. Nice. Our second gemstone forms as the result of massive meteor impacts. Tektites, or impactites, as they are beginning to be called, the two most beloved of course being Moldavite and Libyan Desert Glass. These little beauties formed as molten glass ejecta, think of it like this, meteor punches the planet, the raw heat and kinetic power turned silica into glass and sent it flying out from the impact site. Famously, Libyan desert glass has been found carved into ancient Egyptian religious symbols dating back thousands of years. For all of their destructive power, some meteorites created something quite beautiful. Our final specimen is known as a fulgurite. These bizarre sticks form from lightning strikes. Now, I know, a lightning strike is not a natural disaster by itself, unless it's striking uh, you. But considering they are often associated with extreme weather, I'm counting it. These form by lightning striking sand or silica-rich soil. The path of the lightning is preserved, creating this alien and super cool gemstone. As destructive as the natural forces of our planet can be, they also tend to make fascinating gemstones for us to behold. So thanks for watching. If you liked what you heard, then please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. And if you didn't like what you heard, well then I thank you for listening this long. And a special thanks to my Patreon and Mineral of the Month Club subscribers as well. You all quite literally rock. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.